So we're going to do the electrochemistry demo, and we will talk about this uh, online. But first I want to show you. Um, you've got to look and see where the water layer is. Maybe it's easier to see here. Where the water layer is compared to where the organic layer is. So right now in this container I have just water. So there's the, there's the meniscus right there. I'm going to put in just a few drops of the organic layer. And so you can see that it goes, it goes to the bottom. Let me do one more and you can see. See, it goes to the bottom. Okay, so we're going to be looking for color changes in the organic layer, which will be the bottom of our containers. So first we got to know what to look for. So I'm going to do some chlorine water. So this is Cl2 dissolved in water. And at the bottom of your sheet, is a line that says color in CCL4. This is where you're going to record that information. So chlorine's color. Ooh, it stinks. Okay, so we want to look at that bottom layer. Unfortunately for chlorine, it's not that exciting. So right here. Okay, so make your observation, whatever you want to call that. Okay, and so the next one I'm going to do is bromine. Now, so what's interesting about bromine when you dissolve it in water, these solutions are saturated, so we actually can see some of the liquid bromine in the bottom. That's the darker orange color, and then you can see the aqueous layer is pretty, relatively pale orange. See that? So I've put a little bit of bromine in the aqueous layer and now I'm gonna mix them. And again, we're looking at the bottom, we're looking at the organic layer, so you wanna make a observation about what color that looks like. All right, and so finally we have iodine. Iodine is a solid at room temperature, so you can kind of see in the bottom of our bottle we have a saturated iodine solution. Um, and it's actually this kind of pretty gray, purple, sparkly solid. It's pretty neat. So this is the color before I put it in the liquid. It's sort of an orange, a pale orange. We want to make an observation about what the organic layer down here at the bottom looks like. Okay, so those are our standards, our controls, if you will. Will The next thing we're going to do is the very first reaction in, in table three, which shows iodide, I minus, reacting with chlorine, Cl2. And so I've already put water, um, sodium iodide, and the organic solvent in this container. All I'm going to add is the chlorine. And so this is a good time to make a prediction. You should be able to, to say what it's going to look like if the chlorine stays or if the iodine, I2, forms. Think about those standards we just did. Okay, so this is our first line, and what we see is that pink forms. So our first observation of the bottom layer is that pink is present. That indicates I2 was made. So you can see we filled in for you. The, um, the I2 is one product, which means the Cl- is your other product. Okay, and we'll walk through the logic of the rest of that form together, but that's how we get the other products based on observation. So this one contains... I minus already, and I'm going to put some Br2 in it. Once again, you want to take a second and make a prediction. If Br2 stays, what will we see? If Cl2 forms, what will we see? <laughs> Good thing that was close.
So you want to write the color and you want to write what the products are based off of the color observed.